Hello YouTube and welcome back to the latest vlog here at Cornwall Car Care. We have a 2020 Audi A1 Sportback. Now this was done by me three years ago and haven't seen it since because he looks after it himself. But when he heard that I was Gion certified, he wanted to get it back in and get it coated in the best coating that's out there at the moment. So, we have a bit of everything on this. We've got swells as a hologram, so something's been done on the driver's side. Uh, bird etching on the driver's side front wing. But yeah, this is booked in for my level two details. So basically everything, wheels off, interior work, engine bay, blah, 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 blah. You know the deal on this. Um, fully washed, decontaminated. It's very hot out there today, so I just wanted to crack on with it. Didn't really film much or any of it. Took a few pictures for Instagram. So yeah, if you want to see snippets throughout the day, go and follow my Instagram. And uh, yeah, you'll get to see updates throughout the day of what I'm doing. Oh, right, paint that has been done. I've got to tape up the trim and then we can get on to the polishing side. Yep, so we'll get the camera in. We'll have a look around at some of the defects. There's a lovely smell in here at the moment. Ooh, pigs in blankets. I need it. <laughs> so yep, yeah, we'll get it in, we'll have a look around and then we'll begin polishing on this one. <laughs> yes. So we'll start on the driver's side rear quarter. And here you can see the buffer trails. Yeah, something's gone on here. Nothing was picked up on my paint depth gauge. So, but yeah, maybe there was a big scratch there and it's, somebody's tried to remove it. But yeah, up here looks quite tidy and clean for three years. This is pretty good. There are some areas that are a bit worse like the gloss black, which is inevitable. You ain't gonna get away from that. As you can just see some swirling, but there are some deeper ones thrown in, in this. But yeah, not too bad for three years. If we move on to this front wing, you can clearly see that bird etching. So we shall remove that in the polishing process. But not horrendous by any means. Uh, bonnet looks pretty good, we've got some bug etchings. Yeah, there are some slightly deeper scratches on here. Oh, what was that? Another bird etching just there. This side seems to be a little bit worse than the driver's side. But again, it's nothing, nothing too bad. pillar yeah Let me go on to the rear quarter again nothing scary Rear lights need a really good polish. Some deeper marks just there. There's some deeper ones as well. And a bit of a mess behind the number plate, but again, that's normal. 
I think when I did it last time, we changed the black, the chrome badges to black and the front one as well, and we debadged it. Oh. So yeah, got some holograms down on this lower panel as well. Not this half, but this half. Yeah, so not much in the way of big defects, um, but lots all over. So yeah, this is gonna be an, a very, very nice turnaround. We'll have a quick look at the wheels now before they go out and get washed. But yeah, dev <laughs> that's gonna be a big transformation. Yeah, look at them. So we'll get all of these coated. Nice diamond cut faces. I know there's a few marks on some of them. So there we go, that is the walk round of the car done. I'm gonna tape everything up. I'm gonna have my pigs in blankets because I'm starving and uh, yeah, we'll set up the camera, roll some music, let's get polishing. First update on the Audi A1. So I'm making my way through the cutting stage. Oh, what a difference this is making already. So I'm using a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad and Geon Compound Plus. Let me spin the camera around. Just zoom in a little bit. So yeah, so here you can see all the swells and scratches. And as we come across this side, look at the difference in that. So obviously this side is a little bit bloomy. This still needs to be refined yet. But yeah, to go from that to that, I'm very, very happy. Yep, so I'm gonna pull my finger out. I wanna get as much cutting done today as I can. 
Uh, I also later, well, it's probably around four o'clock now, but one of the last things I want to do today is to go outside and get the wheels decontaminated and washed so that they could be drying, so that when I do the coating, they could be coated as well. So I want to get as much cutting done today as I can, uh, just to make tomorrow a little bit easier. But yeah, let's get the rest done. Tuesday morning, and first things first, sausage and hash brown in brioche buns. Ooh. I don't know where it goes, because it doesn't go in here. All the wheels are now fully cleaned, decontaminated. Uh, they're going to be ready for coatings later on today. I've got half of the passenger side to do and the front end to cut. Then I'll get onto the refinement targets. I just, as I said it in the last video, I keep setting myself targets at the moment. So I want to get the cutting finished, the refinement stage done, and hopefully the coating on today as well, and maybe the wheel coating. And then we've got the wheel arches, calipers, glass, which we'll do tomorrow. But yeah. Let's do a bit more on this because it's the bits that I've done are looking so good already. So yeah, we'll carry on cutting. Well, first I'm going to eat this. And we'll catch back probably on the refinement stage. Roll some music! There we go, that is the cutting finally complete on the Audi A1. I've now got the decision of what to have for lunch. I've either got double cheeseburgers or chicken finger in brioche buns. Mm, I think because I had the sausage and hash brown this morning, I think I'm gonna go with the chicken, I think this afternoon, or oh, yeah, for my lunch. So yeah, cutting is all done. Sorry, I keep going on about my food. I'm trying to eat more. Get a bit of weight on. I work long and hard hours and yeah, probably not looking after myself as well as I should have, should be. So yeah, gonna try and start eating, maybe not healthier, but more. So refinement up next on the Audi. We're gonna be going with a Roops yellow medium pad and Gion polish for this one. I'm hoping to get this one coated today as well, so primer. I think it's too fine because this is really hard paint. So yeah, we're gonna go with Gion polish and then hopefully get this coated today. No, we are gonna get this coated today.
cutting stage finished, refinement stage finished. I've already done a spice hecker wipe down. So next up we've got Geon Prep. We have a bald wipe and a soft wipe. Yeah, I do as much as I can to get that paintwork naked as I call it, so that there's nothing on there which, which could contaminate the coating. Last thing I want to happen is the customers come back and say, oh, the coating's not working as it should. So yeah, I take every precaution that I can to get this process right. So yeah, five second wipe down is done. Just about to do geom prep. I might stay on and do the coating tonight. It's getting on a bit already. Uh, six o'clock. I might stay on and get it done because it's done then, I'm here anyway. So then my target again was to get the wheels finished as well. I've had a couple of inspections to do. So that took me back a little bit, a few phone calls. So, but I've still done more than I wanted today or more than I normally would have got done. So that's good. But yeah, let's get this paper wiped down and <laughs> get the coating on. Yes. Roll some music. And we're on to the wheels. <laughs> it's all starting to come together now. Yes. So they've all been wiped down with Spice Hacker and Geon Prep. Done three already. This is the last one to do. So we have whoop, Geon Infinite Base Type 2 for these ones. Yeah, we start the valve. Yeah, I've got my poker premium stand. Makes it so easy to do this. Yeah, wheels have got a few little battle scars on them. Got my ball wipe. Ow, that was my finger. Soft wipe. Yep. 
done. Why oh, that's a dark. Ooh. I hope you would have seen that anyway. But yeah, so that is the wheels now coated. Uh, I'm gonna get the infrared purine lamps out in a minute. We'll get that set up to make a start on that. We'll probably get onto the glass next. And then, yeah, once all the wheels are done, we'll coat the calipers, arches, get the wheels back on. Yeah, so that is my process of doing the wheels. Get on with the glass. So this is the first wheel that is being infrared cured. So I do this with all the wheels that I do. Um, it's just to guarantee me that it's all been fully cured. Uh, the paintwork, because the this is gonna have enough time to cure in here, I don't need to do it to the paintwork. Um, but the wheels are like a day later. So yeah, I want these, these fully done. But they're gonna have 10 minutes aside. Uh, temperature is set. Literally, when the alarm goes off, we'll flip it over, do that one. Then to get the other three done. But while I'm doing that, I'm quickly gonna go and have some food. And then get onto the calipers, wheel arches, and glass. Mm. It's mesmerizing, that is. Still got quite a big list to get through today on the board. Oh, I'm gonna try my best to get this done today or a few little bits left to do tomorrow. So we have wheel arch liners, Geon trim, calipers, or infinite base type one. So first things first, we'll get the arches done. They've all been wiped down with Geon prep. No little fiddly bits with fins on this one, so. I think it's going to be too long until that starts beeping at me. That's better. Right. Do the caliper. Again, for both of these, just like the last one, I'm not going to remove them. I'm going to leave them on there as thick as possible. Yeah, so there we go. Get them swapped over. Get the other three corners done. And then stop and have some more food. First meal of the day, sausage and hash brown in brioche buns. Oh, it's my favorite at the moment. I'm trying to put a bit of weight on, I'm trying. Glass coating is in process. Wheels are now completed. But yeah, the gloss on this is ridiculous. That camera angle probably doesn't show off very well. That is insane. Right, so eat some food, get the glass finished, get the wheels back on, get it back on the floor, finish up a few bits. I'm gonna try my best to get this finished today. But first things first, I need to get that in here. Couple of little things to do. Uh, this morning I've had a very intricate set of black 
gloss wheels to ceramic coat. So that took quite a while, it was just so many different pockets to get in. So that's done. I've got number plates, they're done. Wheel nut caps. So the ones that were on it, they're all discoloured. Dis, dis, discoloured. Um, so I've got another set that we're going to put on, a brand new set, just to make, it'd be a shame to put them on now that the wheels are looking amazing. So yeah, it'd be a shame to put them on. So yeah, we'll put the new ones on. Uh, I'm just going around with Gion Cure for the final thing. Interior's done, engine base finished. Again, when I'm at the end of a detail, I want to get everything buttoned up and I just I literally headphones on and go at it and get it done. So it's not that much filming. What I might do on the next one, or a few after this one, uh, is set up a camera on time lapse of me just running around, <laughs> doing everything that I don't film and try and do it that way. But yeah, so yeah, first up, we've got two double cheeseburgers. Woo. Yeah, and then I've got French pizza baguette for later on. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my food, finish off Gion Cure, and then I'll see you in a minute for the afters. Yes. So we're almost at the end of the Audi A1 Sportback detail. The gloss that is on that is absolutely outrageous. It looks absolutely stunning after I've done the polishing and after I, oh, when I put the coating on after it literally just went with gloss that's amazing the wheels everything even just these little wheel nut caps that I put new ones on because the other others had discolored just absolutely finishes it off yeah, really proud of that one. Especially as he's a, a long term, a long time returning customer. Uh, I think this is probably car number four for this owner. Yeah, just, oh, yes. Yes. I love it when they turn out like this. Uh, I don't want him to come and collect it. I want to just keep it in here to show people what I can do. I'm getting sidetracked. Get back to the video. Two stage machine polish, Geon Infinite base type one, wheels off, glass, trim, interior, engine bay. There we have it. I love my job. I absolutely love it. When I can get results like that, I mean, I love it whatever vehicle, but that has turned out. Oh, shite. So once again, thank you to all the new subscribers as well. At the moment, we're just, do, 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 do. we're getting there. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. It is so much appreciated and it drives me to do better as well. I'm trying to be better in myself at the moment with my eating and working ethic. But yeah, some all the comments and everything else, that just pushes me even further. So. Yeah, keep it coming. <laughs> 2020 Audi A1 Sportback, which has been geonized. Let's roll some afters. <laughs> <laughs>